Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, amma ba'da, habita fillah, one of the most important things or supplications that we can make in order to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from division and from from misguidance of course comes in Surah Al-Fatiha Ihdina Surat Al-Mustaqeem Guide us to the straight path So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us uh, and, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, showed us that this is the way we perform our prayer as a Muslim five times a day but other than this there are other dua that we can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Muslim is ordered to continually ask his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance how do we deal with the fitna that we that's always that continues to befall us the fitna between our brothers and sisters of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah the fitna of, uh, of the divisions within the Muslim, the greater Muslim community, but even between Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bidah. How do we get Ahl Bidah to come to the straight path? So it is important as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to always seek His assistance, always ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. We love our Mashaykh, we love our scholars, we love our du'ad and our students of knowledge to, for, for asking for advice, for asking for fatwa and so forth. But ask your Lord, Rabbil Alameen, for guidance. Ihdina surat al-mustaqeem. Allah, uh, uh, the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, let us know uh, the, the supplication. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina dhab al-nar. O our Lord, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Give us in this life goodness wa fil akhirati hasana. In the hereafter goodness wa qina dhab al-nar. And protect us from the fire. Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you from the hellfire. Asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you goodness in this life as well as the hereafter. And goodness in this life will lead to the goodness in the hereafter. Also in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the dua in which uh, the Prophet in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Rabbana la tzid qulubana ba'da the daytana wa hablana min ladun ka rahma inna ka anta wahab. Rabbana... Rabbana la tazid qulubana. O Allah, do not allow for our hearts to become uh, misguided, to go away from the straight path. Rabbana la tazid qulubana. Ba'da the daytana. After you have guided us. Wahablana min ladun rahma. Give us your, your, your mercy. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rahma. And to be on the suratullahi al-mustaqeem, this is from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to have hidayah, to have guidance. So ask in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with these supplications. Learn the divine supplications of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with thabad. Allahumma inni as'alaku hubbuk wa hubbu man ya hubbuk wa hubbu li kulli amalin balladhani hubbuk. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his love and for the inclination to love what he loves and to love those he loves subhanahu wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam yeah we can go it's getting nice and